Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin congratulated only three European politicians. <laughs> and everybody is having a good feeling and fuzzy feeling and are happy because Putin is isolated. Hey, maybe it's like this. In this life, uh, I don't think we have too many real, 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 real friends. You know what I mean? So uh, in this case, maybe those are the only real friends that Putin ever had. So it's good at least that we know who are his friends. And the rest are acquaintances, enemies, and that's it. Or people that you don't care for. So let's see. This article comes from Ukrainska Pravda. That's obviously a Ukrainian uh, media outlet. I put my Ukrainian filters here for their propaganda. One is the Sputnik. Um, article I take the Sputnik filter when it's the American one I need as someone said a welding goggles to protect me for that bullshit those are ex experts <laughs> these are just novices so this article comes from as I said Ukrainska Pravda from Friday December 30th 2022 only three this is a title only three EU politicians received New Year greetings from Putin <laughs> All right, the Prime Minister of Hungary. Oh, let's see if you know them. Oh, my bad, I already deconspire one of them. So one of them, obviously, is the Prime Minister of Hungary, who is Viktor Orban, the former heads of government Silvio Berlusconi. So many parties, ladies of the night. <laughs> That's how it goes through Putin's uh, ears and Berlusconi. Yes, see, let's go. And the third one is a German one. Can you guess? No, 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 not that one. He's been dead since, what, the 30th of April, 1945. Not that one. So he didn't send it to this guy. Send it to another guy. His name is Gerhard Schröder, the ex, the former uh, chancellor of Germany, are the only EU politicians who have received Christmas and New Year's well wishes from Russian President Vladimir Putin this year. The rest off <laughs> basically <laughs> this are, this are, so <laughs> i'm putting myself in a good mood uh, well we got my friend here there's a romanian remedy for my little aids that uh, burst into action i guess and it's a uh, liquor uh, 43 spanish little thing and i rarely drink it but hey instead of drinking some wine that felt better uh, as I said, the Romanian traditional uh, uh, medicine is sex and alcohol. Uh, the order you can alternate it and it's a repeat, okay? I had the first one, now I have the second, 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 uh, how do you call it, requirement. Uh, that was, uh, how do you call it, um, prescribed to me by some Romanian shamans. All right, let's move on here. Let's be serious now. <laughs> All right, quote. Despite the difficult international situations, situation, relations between the countries have maintained a positive trend. The President of Russia also confirmed his intention to continue joint work on topical issues of the bilateral agenda. The greeting to Orban reads, beautiful, straightforward, no weasel, no love you, long live whomever. All right. Along with Orban, Putin sent warmer mm, messages to Alexander Lukashenko. Wait a minute. Belarus is in Europe. Will I read European Union or Europe? EU. My bad. I apologize. Uh, Belarus is not part of EU, uh, EU yet because it's not ready to pull its pants down, bend over and get it deep. That's the only reason. Once it does that, NATO, it's theirs. I mean, I don't know whose theirs is, but anyway. So, um, let's see what we have here. Along with Orban, Putin sent warmer messages to Alexander Lukashenko and Alexander Vucic. Alexander Vucic, uh, his Belarusian and Serbian counterparts and two of Moscow's closest friends on the European continent. The ones who know that if Russia dies, they will be done. Okay, that's the only problem. So they have no other option. It's all, either they get uh, raped by uh, Zimbabwe from Atlantic, uh, over Atlantic, across Atlantic, if you know who that is, 
uh, or uh, stay at the, under the wing of these guys. And they hope not to be anyway. So former German Chancellor Gerhard Schröder, who was uh, removed from his parliamentary post this summer because of his ties to Putin, was also on the greeting list. You know what happened? He refused to say, Putin, I hate you, you're a criminal, I hope you, I hope you burn in hell. That's what he refused to say. And since, since this is a witch hunt and it's a Russian hysteria, anything below or under that uh, is a crime. So that was the thing. And he was on the board of director of whatever, uh, Gazprom or Ros Rosnet or both or something like that, which he said, okay, if I'm just uh, you know, quitting that thing, I don't need the money. I mean, I got the honey, right? <laughs> From the honey pot. <laughs> All right, too much alcohol, I guess. So, in 2021, Putin sent his greetings to more than 10 heads of state and government of European countries, including Italy, Germany, and France. Well, the list uh, grows shorter and shorter. You know, it grows like that. Anyway, so what's going on here? What's going on is, uh, I think you should just... Um, uh, show your loyalty towards whomever shows loyalty towards you. Uh, yes, sometimes, you know, especially in the, in the international uh, affairs, you have to have a lot of uh, uh, self-control and you have to pretend sometimes because that's how in the war is. In the war of words or the war of action, uh, you have to... Um, pretend you're something else. Uh, this, the art of deceiving is the art of war. That's what uh, Sun Tzu said in his book, The Art of War. So that's uh, true. Now, um, obviously the ones that he greeted were expected to be greeted by Putin. And I don't know if he, if he missed anyone. I can't think of anybody that uh, he could have uh, sent the same greetings. Uh, and also, I don't think he, uh, you, you don't want to put in the spotlight the ones that are yours, but the world doesn't know they're yours. You know what I mean? So I probably he could have sent some greetings to uh, the Austrian chancellor or whatever he is over there. He could have done that too. Maybe he could have sent to some, uh, it sounds uh, strange, but to Slovakians and um, he could have sent it even to Poland. And uh, do you think that Poland would have been fucked after that? I guarantee you. So he would have gotten Poland in so much trouble because people will say, Duda, what the fuck happened to you now? Are you Putin's friend? I swear to God, I'm not. Yes, you are. Look at this letter right here. <laughs> he congratulated you. Why would this criminal congratulate you? You must be his friend somehow. I would have done that. I would have sent to a, a few just to create problems. The ones that I really know to the Lithuanian one and everybody would be like, what the hell is going on here? You're the biggest mouth in town, you know, bashing Putin and the Russians at every, I know, uh, whatever uh, situation you got, circumstance you have. And now he's sending you these love, love letters straight from his heart unbelievable I would have done that and I would have created a big problem over there there would be like bzz, focusing on the Polish, pre Polish president and the Lithuanian president but hey maybe he did but we don't find out yet thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just <laughs>